Hi, I'm Camilla and this is King and we're the five resellers and today we have 21 items that can make you good money online. We've got electronics, housewares, beddings, shoes, and clothing, all that sold for more than $75. Let's go. This first one's a great one because it's Taylor Stitch. It was this corduroy shirt, blue, very nice. The buyer was all in $78.30 on eBay. Yeah, so Taylor Stitch is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. It is a great men's brand. We've sold a lot of these shirts, some of them in perfect condition, some in not perfect condition, mm -hmm. but they sell very quickly and they're obviously a sought after style. You'll see with this sale and a few others that men's clothing are making a really big jump in sales. And so you'll want to be on the lookout for used men's clothing. This next one, a scarf that sold for $80 is by Mew Mew. So we sold this scarf on Poshmark and this is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. You might not find it as often because Mew Mew is a brand under Prada. So it is a designer brand, definitely something that is high quality. Mm -hmm. People are looking for that and willing to pay more for it because they know that it has that quality that they're looking for. This next one, very interesting because it was a single stool. Like who buys a single stool? But this person bought it on Facebook Marketplace. It was a local pickup. So we didn't have to pay fees. We mm -hmm. sold it for $80. The brand is Serena and Lily. And so you definitely want to be on the lookout for that brand. We sometimes will pick up furniture when we are out at the thrift store. Not too often because, you know, we only have a limited amount of space. Mm -hmm. But with something like this, it was a stool. You know, it took up, you know, just about this much room, you know, straight down onto the ground. <laughs> it was definitely a good pickup. And it shows that you should not be afraid to list locally because people are willing to pay for something like that. I'm sure that this person had, you know, a set and maybe need just one more or one broke or something like that. Yeah. So they were willing to pay to replace it. We sold this really cool Howling Wolf sweatshirt. It was by this brand called Tejidos Rumenahui, I think. We <laughs> sold it for $88.28 on eBay. Very interesting print. Very cool. These sweatshirts, they sell for a lot. They are obviously very intricate and each one is a little bit different from the designs that I've seen. And so people are on the lookout because this is such a unique item that you can't just get at Walmart or at any mall, you know, you have to get it from this brand. So definitely be on the lookout for things that are unique and make sure to look them up when you're out sourcing. So this vintage maxi dress made of Indian cotton sold for $88.40 on eBay, crazy. Yeah, so this also sold very quickly. And the reason it did, so it's a vintage dress, but it looks very modern. Like it looks like something that you could buy from Free People or even any of those other kind of bohemian sort of brands. Like you might see something similar in Anthropology or something like that. But Indian cotton is definitely something you wanna be on the lookout for. So it didn't say Indian cotton, it said 100% cotton made in India. Mm -hmm. And so that's what the tag said. So I know that people are searching for and looking for Indian cotton online. That was something that was really popular in the 60s and 70s and so it's something that you should be on the lookout for if you're looking at a vintage item to look to see what it's made out of mm -hmm. because those kind of prints and often they're brightly colored and things like that, like the one that you see that we sold. And so people are on the lookout for that because it has this really cool bohemian style to it. They don't make them like they used to. Yeah, and it's super lightweight and thin. Like I think you would have to wear like a slip underneath this dress to, you know, wear it out and about, but it was so cool. We saw this really cool Alice and Olivia sequin dress for $90 on Poshmark. This is definitely a brand that you want to be on the lookout for. It is a high quality brand, very expensive new, and they make a lot of really fancy like cocktail dresses, going out dresses. We had it listed for $100. We sent an offer of 90 and someone took it within just a couple days of listing it. You might not find it that often, but if you do, you want to look up the comps on that dress or that item or whatever it is. We sold some media. It was this audio Bible. We sold it for $90.08 on eBay. Crazy. Yes, so definitely be on the lookout for audio versions of the Bible because they are not that common. You know, most people have, you know, the printed version and you can find those anywhere. You can get them 
super cheap. I think there are places that will even send you a free copy yeah. because they just want you to read the Bible. But the audiobooks are harder to come by. You know, I, I could imagine a trekker buying this or someone who can't read as well as they used to because their eyesight, things like that, mm -hmm. are looking for these items and willing to pay a little bit more because they know, you know, they're going to use it all the time. Well, hopefully. I hope mm -hmm. that this person uses it all the time. Well, in general, when you look at Bibles and all of that, the, this category is very interesting because sometimes when you do look at printed Bibles, you want to try to find the more intricate looking ones and, and fancy ones. So just in general, Bibles are a pretty sought after item. Yeah. Number one best-selling book of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Next, a brand that has one of the biggest followings in the world, Harley Davidson. We sold these boots for $99 on Poshmark. Yeah, so these were really nice boots. And Harley-Davidson makes a lot of different items. You know, they make t-shirts, they make jackets, they make boots, they make all sorts of, and they can range from not worth very much to worth a lot of money. So depending on what you're looking at, you should always try to look up the comps on it because some things can be worth a good amount. And these were really nice leather boots. And so of course they were gonna be worth something because leather boots are expensive just generally. And then these were really nice biker ones. So definitely be on the lookout for Harley Davidson boots. Okay, these men's pants, it was this navy, you know, pretty cool pants by Outlier. We sold it for $99.58 on eBay in less than a day. Yeah, so Outlier is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Just like Taylor Stitch, this is a men's brand that people are obsessed with. And they started by making pants that you can bike to work in, which I believe that these were similar to, but I'm not sure if they were the original ones or what. These are, you know, like something that people just buy up really quickly and we sold them for almost a hundred dollars can you imagine paying almost a hundred dollars for a pair of used pants i can't That's but crazy. i don't know we sold this really nice coat it was wax felt kind of dingy but actually very good by barber we sold it for a hundred dollars on facebook marketplace and it had a huge stain down the back yeah. too so just because something is damaged does not mean it's not worth money so these coats without being damaged can go for a lot more, mm -hmm. like more like $200. But this one was damaged and we still sold it and the person was really happy with it. I think that maybe this brand, you can send the coat back in, like it has a, some kind of warranty or, hmm. you know, they'll repair it somehow. So I think that's what this person was gonna do. Do not quote me on that, that is just a guess. But that would be the reason why someone wouldn't worry too much about buying a totally stained coat, I guess. Or, you know, they wanted to just buy it to wear it because it's a very work type, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's true. You know, you're just gonna wear it. It's not for fashion. It's for people who really want to use it and, and really work in it. Next, a pair of boots by one of our favorite brands, Red Wing. Red Wing is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. People buy these for work boots. They are very durable, you know, kind of a buy it once, you wear it for your lifetime. So people are willing to buy them online used because they know the quality of this item. These I think were Red Wing Pecos. So that is a style that you should definitely be on the lookout for. We pick up pretty much anything Red Wing. And when it comes to their shoes and their sandals and whatnot, you know, people love the brand. So be on the lookout. Okay, Christmas plates. We sold the set of five Vectors Bach plates for $112 on eBay. It's a German brand and some of their vintage items can go for a good amount. So. If you find this brand, you can see on the bottom, it will have the brand written on the bottom there. If you see it, you should look up just the design. You can use your Google Lens to find, you know, exactly what that one is called. And you can look it up and see what it's going for. So some of them can go for a lot, the ones that are rare and hard to find. Like these were dinner plates, which are more rare than like the mugs. Like you see mugs pretty often, but the dinner plates, people definitely, you know, seek them out and are looking for them compared to some more common items. People really love Aztec designs. And this one was a poncho by Polo Ralph Lauren. We sold it for $113.90 on eBay. So a lot of Polo Ralph Lauren is not worth very much, you know, maybe $20 kind of around that area because a lot of it is sold at like TJ Maxx. But some Polo Ralph Lauren items can be really, really good. And this was one of those items because it had a really good fabric content on it. So it was really soft. And then often these kind of ponchos and big sweaters are worth a lot of money because they're really expensive new. This was one of those items. And so that just goes to show you that just because you think that a brand doesn't sell for very much doesn't mean that there aren't valuable items within that brand. Right. Okay, our first quick
quilt sale that kind of started this whole don't sleep on quilts thing. It says grandmother's flower garden quilt. We sold it for $116.20 on eBay. It sold so fast. Like so fast that we thought, oh no, we underpriced it, which we definitely did. This mm -hmm. was a quilt that was in perfect condition. It was huge. We should have priced it probably closer to like $300. And we just didn't know what we were doing. We just thought, you know, well, we don't know what this is. We we're just really not sure. We thought, you know, $100, that seems like a lot. And that just goes to show you that quilts are definitely sought after and people love them, especially, especially this design. This is one of the most popular designs, one that people will pay good money for, especially with the very small patches, you know, the very small pieces, people will pay a lot of money for them. And speaking of small pieces, this one is a glorified nine patch quilt. We sold it for $200 on eBay. That's crazy. This is the quilt that we've sold for the most. So 200 is the most that we've sold a quilt for. Most of our other quilts, which we've sold probably about, you know, 15 other quilts throughout the year, have sold between, you know, $60 and about $100, $150. So depending on the size of the quilt, the condition that it's in, and just the desirability of the pattern, really helps kind of us determine the price that we're gonna put on it and then the price that the consumer is willing to pay. So y'all, please don't sleep on quilts. This is such an underrated category. Mm -hmm. Just be on the lookout and you know, just test it out once in a while. Yeah. One of the funkiest and coolest sales we've ever had, these Converse knee high sneakers for $125 on Poshmark, just nuts. Yeah, so definitely be on the lookout for these knee high Converse. They have a couple of different styles, you know, like some are just the plain, these were patchwork, but you know, they have different kinds and they can be worth a lot of money. I don't know like how much they are originally, but I am sh pretty sure that they, you know, kind of come in and out of, you know, which ones they make and which ones are available on the Converse website. So people will look for them used, but this was really surprising to me because I just had no idea that there was a market out there for knee high Converse still. And like for ones that aren't the black ones, like I feel like I see people wearing the black ones, but I've never seen anyone wear these patchwork ones. So mm. if you have a pair, send, send us a picture. We'd like to see it. We love selling Johnny Was stuff. And this maxi skirt sold for $128.45 on eBay. So this was our highest Johnny Was sale. We have sold a lot of Johnny Was shirts, probably about 10 this past year. And they sell for between about $50 and $100, depending on, you know, how intricate the design is, what the material that it's made out of, and all of that, mm -hmm. and the size. The size is really important for Johnny West as well. We just love this brand. We are so excited anytime we find it. Whenever we're going to the thrift store, we always say, I hope we find some Johnny West today. And sometimes it's possible, and sometimes we fail at that. Right. Hope. More, more fail than not, because yeah. they're pretty rare. Yeah. But this is definitely a brand that you want to be on the lookout for. We're going to put down here, they have a couple different lines within Johnny Was. So not all of them say Johnny Was on there. So just so that you're aware, all of these brands are within that kind of umbrella brand. One of our most surprising sales is Navy Proofed Cotton Coat by Margaret Howell. We sold it for $146.95 on eBay. What? <laughs> Yeah, so this coat we got in a thread up box and when we first got it, we weren't really sure what it was. It felt really nice. And so when we looked up the brand, we found that it was a really high end, I believe British brand. Mm -hmm. And so most of the comps that we could find were, you know, in pounds and not in dollars. And so we were like, oh, I don't know if we're gonna sell it, but we did. And it sold in a couple months, you know, it took a little bit longer to sell. Designer, but, but, you know, it happens like that. Exactly, but we were really happy with this price considering we paid just about $5 for it. This one happened to be a men's piece, but Margaret Howe makes both men's and women's pieces. So mm -hmm. definitely be on the lookout. They're really great items. Cashmere, 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 Agnona piece, this poncho for $185 on Poshmark. So this poncho we picked up from a Goodwill and it retailed for $1,300. And Nuts. when we had it, it was still for sale on the Saks Fifth Avenue website for that much. So we felt pretty good charging the amount that we did. We had it priced 
I think it's 300, mm -hmm. but we were open to offers because we didn't pay that much for it in the first place. And it didn't seem like there was that much traction for it online. You know, people weren't necessarily seeking it out. Yeah, designer stuff. You it's, know, you know not, yeah. not everyone's going to be seeking this stuff out. Right. Like the audience for designer things, the number of people who can afford that type of lifestyle, you know, is smaller than the number of people who can afford, you know, to spend $20 on a sweater, right. on a poncho, you know. So that just is what happens with these higher priced items. Sometimes there's not, you know, quite the audience for them but we were really happy with this sale yeah i think we could have waited and you know just sat on it for a little longer to find the right perfect buyer that will pay you know 200 300 but you know a quick sale is better than no sale at all exactly yes queen alexander mcqueen we sold this alexander mcqueen zip up dress for 188 dollars and 55 cents on ebay so this was an awesome sale we picked it up from a buffalo exchange for 35 dollars and then sold it for you know so much more which is awesome and it just goes to show you that just because something is you know priced up in the store doesn't mean that you can't make money on mm -hmm. it and so you want to be looking at all different options especially things like designer things like alexander mcqueen i think this dress was in their 2011 like runway collection mm -hmm. so not quite, you know, as trendy as it once was, you know, it's kind of, it's been 10 years since this was on the runway, but it is a runway piece. And so that just goes to show you, you know, do your research as you are listing things, because I think that piece in my listing was what, you know, attracted this buyer to this item. We sold this really huge lot of over 150 patterns, you know, the sewing patterns and whatnot for $215.10 on eBay. Just nuts. This was a great sale because we picked up this whole box for just $10 and then we pulled out a couple other lots of, you know, 10, 12, 15, and we sold some of those mm -hmm. for $20 each. Yeah. And then we sold this one for so much money. So this was a great buy and it just goes to show you that even though you might be looking through something and think individually, these might not be worth much, but to sell something as a lot can really add up in value, yeah. especially because we just took one picture of the box, you know, we pulled out some of them, we took, you know, mass pictures of what possibly could be in there. Mm -hmm. And then that was pretty much it. So yeah. it wasn't that much work for us. One other note is that we picked it up at a church garage sale. And I think that's probably one of the best places to go to find a bulk amount of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. People are getting rid of stuff, you know, giving to, to their church. And these folks that are volunteering their time to sell these items just want to help get rid of them. And so mm -hmm. that's why we were good for $10. And we think that that's one of the best places to source now. We are hoping to do that more in the future. Our last and our highest sale was this electronic piece, the Sony Handycam. We sold it for $364.10 on eBay. All right. Yes, so definitely, 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 if you are out and about and you see a Sony Handycam, you should pick it up, look at it, see how much it's priced for, see how much it's going for because People are dying for these things. Mm -hmm. It sold really quickly for us. And I just can't believe that someone would spend that much on like a camcorder. Yeah, a vintage, you know, old school type of camcorder. Just yeah. crazy. One last note about looking up Handycams is that usually it has the model number right on the Handycam. So very easy to look up the comps. So be on the lookout. So those are 21 items and categories and things to resell online. We hope that we gave you a good idea of you know, what types of things to be on the lookout for, what types of things, you know, will continue to be valuable over time. We just really hope that this helps you with your reselling and with you being able to make money online. Leave a comment of what your highest sale was from either the past year or just the past couple of weeks. We would love to hear from you and we'd love to have that comment section be filled with even more bolo items even more items to be on the lookout for or even just tell us your favorite brands to resell in general mm -hmm. you know what is the highest dollar or the highest sell through rate very quick flips we'd love to know exactly and if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed consider subscribing we would love to have you as part of our community yeah we'll see you later bye